All right, hey, I'm Mike Durnt, and I'm here with my Road Worn Fender Precision Bass. It's Rogue Worn with a nice satin finish on it. You can see all the cracking and checking in it. It gives it that, that classic gem from your closet look. Right here, you've got your nice 55 cutaway, so you're not killing your arm. You've got your badass two bridge, which is never going to fail you. And we've got these hot 59 pickups that I've tested them against everything else that says antique on it, or antiquity, or whatever you want to call it, and it, uh, it wins every time. That said, we've got a medium C jumbo fret, rosewood neck. Uh, we also are making it this time around in a maple neck that is going to give you, if you want a little more, you know, a little more punch or a little more 2K, sort of that high end, kind of a little bit of that punch in the ear, that, you know, that ice pick in the ear, I think it's good for you for that. Uh, the values on the capacitors are going to get nice and low for you on your, on your tone knob. Nice satin finish on the back, keep you moving fast and uh, getting around easily. And it's sunburst, which we got a little bit of red in there. We've moved the tobacco burst over to a sunburst. So some of them are going to have a little more red, some are going to have a little more tobacco in them. We did these and we also did a really nice blonde version that's going to be um, like that nice classic blonde. I'm in love with this thing. We worked on this tirelessly for um, I'd say two years and uh, this is the end result. So this is the white version of my new, uh, my new P-Bass signature model and you know the first thing you'll notice is probably um, if you know anything about them, if you don't, well I'll walk you through it. It's uh, a maple neck and I really wanted a little bit more of that punch uh, that I used to get. In the studio I use a bass I call my weapon. It's a 71 P-Bass as a maple neck and it's, uh, it's milled just slightly flatter and it's got a real pop to it. The original yellowish, creamish color that we went with. Uh, it was great, it wasn't my perfect white. This one to me, you know, it's, it's more of like a, uh, you know, a white wash. And you can see that grain through it. Uh, it just, it plays really nice to that, that satin relic classic look. It's a great piece. I think these are gonna, um, these are gonna really last a long time in, uh, in the hands of the right people. I literally can pull these things out of the box, and I always have been able to since we started making these bases. Pull them out of the box, tune them up, maybe set the action a little bit, and jump on stage with them. Well, I gotta throw a strap on it. These things are, they're built to last. I always tell people, I feel like these bases, they're built like a Ford F-150 truck. They just keep going, but they look like Chevys. They're sexy, so. <laughs>